Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Chris coming to you. Another one of my crazy crossroads. We are at a uh, an abandoned house that um, Joe found out about uh, through Al Capone. So Al, thank you. Check out Al's channel. He brings some great content. Um, we're just kind of here during the day, just checking things out real quick um, before we head to another place. So uh, still light out. It's great. A cool little fifth wheel trailer <clears throat> I gotta tell you what guys this place is definitely creepy huh <laughs> bro it's creepy as hell <clears throat> alright so I'm gonna head back here while Joe's over here we don't want to give us the location of where this is it's a super creepy house there's a lot of uh a lot of neighbors out because everybody's quarantined, so out of respect for the neighbors, we don't really want to have lights flashing all over the place at night. Wow, look at this place. But there is a hot tub, guys. If you, uh, want to, uh... Rock band. Headlight off of an RX 16. Well, in case you guys are interested in this place, financing is available. Comes with some speed stick. I don't know really the history of this. I have to go and watch the video. I didn't know anything about it um, that Al came out to. Oh, check it out. The best of the guess who. They even have an 8-track player here. Fleetwood Mac, Dan oh, this is awesome. Hey, if anything, we're going to have pretty neat Urbex here. How cool is this? Party tape. <clears throat> Jimi Hendrix. Joe, there's an 8-track player. For your car, nice. Bro. And some old eight tracks. Thank God I, can, I still kept my eight tracks. <laughs> I can remember having my eight track. There's another, I think, another eight track. You know what's cool is maybe in the daytime we pick something up here. You never know, right? Said <clears throat> so if anything, this is a good urbex in here. Yeah, it's the rock rock band. There's a skull over here. Did you see that? I don't know what kind of animal it is. Ho, ho, ho. Well, here's Mark's ball left there's behind. Another right there. Mark's ball, Mark has left his ball. Left his ball behind. I didn't see the skull though. Ooh, cool. Creepy. Are you kidding me? Well, this is with man. I don't know what this is. Jimmy Hendrix. The guy. 
guess who? You see this, Ron? See these? These back in the day, these used to be used for fans. They're called blades. So what you would do is you would put it on some sort of like round motoring system and it would rotate. Yeah. And you see how there's a couple of them? So there'd be a few on each motor and you would put it on the ceiling and it would... What the fuck was that? And they would spin around and cool you down, if you will. Yeah. That's crazy. Yep. Yep. Real, real yeah, it's pretty impressive. What's up, guys? Welcome to another episode. <clears throat> yeah, Joe's doing his intro now. I kind of did mine walking in, but as usual, I am with Joe and Rob. Look at this pool. Oh, it's like a friggin' pond. I'll tell you what, crazy thing, if you come back here at night and aren't paying attention, <laughs> and walk right into that pool. They really cared to take stuff with them, guys. I'm not stepping back in there, but... <clears throat> that is... In hey, Joe! Can you imagine if you were just walking around here at night? I know the pool. You would walk right into the <laughs> Can you imagine how many views you'd get? Yeah. Oh, that would be great. The only thing that'll get anything that's in there off of you would be the coronavirus. It's the only thing that could save you. <laughs> That smells so bad in there. Okay, it's an old fifth wheel trailer with a bunch of crap, so. rocking chair on the porch. Wow, this is crazy. <clears throat> Does anybody, do you know any history on this house? No idea. No idea. Shit, say. Cool. I mean, it had to be relatively recent. I mean, there's some. Yeah. So probably a, either foreclosure or a death. Most likely scenarios here. Yeah, I wonder. <clears throat> oh, he's stepping on the uh, all the rest of this stuff. It's definitely old school. This toaster's in really good shape. Yeah, we got a George. Well, our toaster's getting old, isn't it? There's some yeah. Chester's uh, popcorns. Back into the kitchen area. Yeah. <clears throat> 
Why oh, they like their tie bow? That's what I was saying. Tie bow. Billy Blanks? Billy Blanks, baby. Tie bow. What was that noise? And I just heard like a scream, right? It was... Shh. It's a friggin' it's a goat. Baby crying, so. <laughs> Sounds like a goat. Oh, there's like no wall back here. <clears throat> Doesn't it sound like a goat? Sure does. Rob's well, going back here. Can you can that push forward? Rob's gonna move the refrigerator. Look at that, he's humping oh, the refrigerator. Get it, Rob. <laughs> look, a at little, that. Look, at that, look at that thrusting going there's on. There's a little screw hole down there that'll perfect fit for you. Just slide <laughs> it in there. There you go. Look at this beast. <laughs> Just so you know, I could have pushed that, but <laughs> I work smart, not hard. <clears throat> now that they left some kind of food in there, I can see. It doesn't feel like we're going to just fall into the earth. Yeah, because we probably are. See, Rob, look, there's one of those things that I was telling you about, but that one's... Um, uh, what is what's the word? <laughs> that one's. Bad shape. Wow, look at that. Yeah. This place is really, really. Nasty and creepy. Oh yeah, the knickknack on the yeah. Does it have a patty whack? Keep your dog a bone. Remember the old fryer? The old uh, fryer. Oh yeah. Look at that toaster, man. Pretty high tech stuff right there, brother. And they're all about their toasters and griddles and like even the quesadilla maker. <laughs> to my elbow. I sneeze in my elbow. I sneeze in my elbow. You're okay, Rob. I sneeze in my elbow. I'm still, I'm holding it. Because usually when there's one, there's like three. <laughs> there's two. Rob, I will give you a thousand dollars if you stay overnight and sleep on this mattress and have video evidence of doing such. And then take a swim. Ah, this one would be amazing. That's not the case, but boy, yeah, this is dust. So, Chris, I was thinking that since you didn't do the blair, which house? What? Maybe we could venture there. Do it. Yeah, this is cool. This is a cool little place just to kind of. Come check out. I mean, I don't think right now with this 
everybody quarantined and everything that this will be a possibility for us to get into at no, night it's not gonna That's, happen you know. like i said guys we're not taking a chance like that because <clears throat> When I say this is in a residential neighborhood, I mean there's houses next to the yeah. Wall. Yeah, there's houses yeah. everywhere. So we're just uh. And you know what? I don't think the police are gonna buy the story. Is oh, we're we're just, just in here place. doing a quick little <laughs> explore, and uh, we're gonna get out of here. So this is just like a little little bonus footage for you guys. Very cool place. Definitely sketchy. Um, but, uh, you know, we're going to move on. Just wanted to check it out and uh, be on our way. We got to kind of get our explorers done early um, now with this quarantine stuff. So, anyway, I'm going to go do the Blair Witch House now. So, we'll see you guys in a bit. Deuces. Love you.